नमस्ते माय नेम इज नीलेश सिन्हा एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल पिलग्रिमेज वाराणसी द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ टुडे दैट मींस व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टुडे इज व्हाई द पिलग्रिमेज हैज स्टार्टेड हाउ द पिलग्रिमेज हैज स्टार्टेड एंड व्हेन द पिलग्रिमेज हैज स्टार्टेड बिफोर दैट आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू वन थिंग अबाउट माई सेल्फ दैट आई डिड माई मेजर इन टूरिज्म when i went to the college the first chapter of the book on tourism what i read was pilgrimage has started the concept of traveling and later on that has developed into tourism initially the human traveled in search of food and later in much developed society they started traveling to gain knowledge when we read the history of humans we will come to know that earlier the society used to confined in a small village and they spend their entire life within the village and because of which whenever a traveler or maybe i would say a sadhu or a sage used to visit their village the villagers used to gathered around him and they wanted to know what exactly is there away from their village or maybe outside of their village and that knowledge what that sage or a traveler shares with the villagers used to be called as a sermon it is a well known fact when you travel you gain more knowledge since ancient times people are traveling in search of knowledge when the gurukul tradition was practiced in india the kids used to go away from their home in search of knowledge in another way traveling also gives you a discipline other way of seeing traveling is a person who has renounced the worldly life and going to forest as a sanyasi or an ascetic a kid going to boarding school to gain knowledge is a student a girl after the marriage moving to her husband's house as a wife in earlier days when the old age people used to move to the forest as a vanprastha ashrama that means spending the last years of their life in the forest away from the worldly life so that they achieve nirvana now the question arises what does pilgrimage means i would say escape from the routine life is pilgrimage and that could be of many senses even in the holy text of ours which are shastras and the puranas the mention of pilgrimage is there in mahabharata when pandavas have lost everything in the game of chaucer they have to spend 13 years in exile and at that point of time lord krishna suggested yudhishthir to perform a pilgrimage there is another word what we use instead of pilgrimage in india we call it teertha or teerth yatra what does teertha means if i'll give you the english definition of this crossing a river one has to take a help of a boat if the river is deep but if the river is shallow you can cross over by walking that is called ford and that is what teertha means teertha is crossing a river from one bank to the other without any help one of the philosophical understanding of teertha is achieving state of nirgun which is a formless the world of atma or param atma that means almighty prophet of jain religion which is another religion in india have been called as teerthankar what is teerthankara means the one who is able to find a teertha for himself and achieve mukti the release from worldly possessions and also show the path to the others how to achieve that 
इज कॉल्ड तीर्थांक राज नाउ वाई वाराणसी इज सच एन इंपॉर्टेंट पिलग्रिमेज सेंटर फॉर दिस आई वुड से इन वन ऑफ माई वीडियोज आई हैव एक्सप्लेन हाउ वाराणसी हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट तीर्थ और द पिलग्रिमेज सेंटर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड आई हैव गिवन इन माई डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक ऑफ दैट वीडियो यू गो एंड सी दैट इज वेल काशी इज एन अबोर्ड ऑफ लॉर्ड शिवा एंड वन ऑफ द ट्वेल्व ज्योतिर्लिंगास of his is in varanasi the concept of teertha or pilgrimage in india is as old as hinduism in the world we in hinduism have a concept of performing a char dham yatra char means four dham means important centers which are placed in four cardinal directions and it has become popular in last 1000 years developing this char dham or the four important centers adi guru shankaracharya the great scholar of vedanta has an important role the four dham or the mathas are first badrinath which is placed in north part of india this is the place where lord vishnu performed tapasya that means meditation under a tree called bear or badri and that is how the name came to us as badrinath the second one is jagannath puri which is in the eastern coast of india this is the place where lord vishnu has bhog that means he ate and here we have world's biggest pressure cooker as well third place is called rameshwaram which is in south part of india and this is the place where lord vishnu bathed or took shower the fourth one is dwarka puri where lord vishnu as krishna ruled 12 jyotirlingas jyotirlingas are the one which has been identified by adi guru shankaracharya the specific site across india where shiva had first appeared and after this we have shakti peetha and establishment of these shakti peetha has a very beautiful mythological story behind it and that story is there was a time when sati the wife of lord shiva who was the daughter of prajapati went to attend a yagna which was performed by her father but in that yagna the father did not invited lord shiva somehow the father did not like his son in law and shiva also told her wife please do not go there we have not been invited but the sati was adamant and she said no no my father must have forgotten i should go there and she went there but when she reached there she saw few things which purposely did by his father to insult her husband she felt ashamed of herself and she committed suicide by jumping in that yagna by this the shiva got angry and he chopped the head of prajapati and then he carried the corpse of his wife on his shoulder and started wandering all over the galaxy and because of this the life on the planet had come to stand still vishnu said this cannot go on so with his sudarshan chakra he cut the body into many parts and those parts fell at different parts of the country the body parts have covered the entire india place has emerged as shakti peetha interesting thing with this was that we became a country because all these shakti peethas or jyotirlingas or the char dhams are spread across india so the britishers gives us the map of india is a wrong theory india as a country became a country thousands years ago above all varanasi has its own value 
because of Lord Shiva. In my video of Lord Shiva's Varanasi, I have covered the importance of Varanasi as an important pilgrimage center in detail. I have given the link in the description box. So see that video as well. Now I am hoping that you must have liked what I have just presented it to you. I will request you please subscribe to my channel if you are new and press the like button. And yes, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.